My name is Alexandra Hackett. I was born and raised in Australia. I studied at Melbourne uh, RMIT and I did a Bachelor of Design majoring in men's fashion. I also run my own label, ALCH. Uh, basically my entire practice revolves around looking at the body as a product and clothing as a form of product packaging. A lot of my work focuses on uh, Nike as a brand and repurposing products associated with the Nike brand. Uh, products include duffel bags, drawstring backpacks, socks, anything sort of in the, in the accessory department that's translated into clothing design. I spent the last year and a half working as a studio manager um, for a menswear label here in London. Uh, at the same time, I was working weekends at Foot Patrol, where I still work. I love working at Foot Patrol because uh, it's sort of a ground level access point to the streetwear industry. Uh, it's based literally in the middle of Soho, so around Foot Patrol you've got Supreme, Palace, Pata, all of these stores that are kind of in the same scene and you get to see all of the different people that interact with these brands and it's kind of like this base level interaction with all of the consumers that are involved in this industry. One of the releases that I think a lot of people are excited about is upcoming Air Max Day Vapor Max release. Um, it's kind of torn the industry, I think. I think there's people who are super enthusiastic about it um, and the technology behind it and the future of Nike and their design potential. And then there's a lot of people who are not too sure. They're waiting to see the product in real life. I think I've been wearing them almost every day since I got them. Um, it's just really exciting. The promise of like the future of air is just something I find really exciting. So basically I was selected as one of 12 creatives from across the world to be flown out to Portland to visit the campus, Nike Global Headquarters, and work with a designer to create my own Air Max shoe. Uh, it was pretty much open for design, so we could work with almost any Air Max sole unit and then develop our own uppers. Then after we've developed our design, uh, there's about a week or eight days uh, for voting to be open and the general public can vote on which shoe they would like to go into production. And then for MX Day next year, the shoe that gets the most votes will be produced and released. So my whole practice revolves around uh, looking at older products and repurposing them to make something new. So when I approached this whole project, I thought about how can I look at the history of Air Max and create a new model? I looked at the Air Max 1, the 90, the 180, 93, 95, 97, Air Max Plus, 360, and 2015. Uh, I tried a lot of these uppers on a variety of uh, tooling units, but I decided to go with the 97 tooling unit um, because it seemed to fit the best with all of the different uppers. Also, the basic shape of it is based on a tuned air 97, which I think is a shoe that Nike definitely needs to re-release. Uh, it's one of my favorite models that they've done. And then for the fabrication, I really wanted to look at the different elements that come in a shoe box that, get, uh, that are disposable. There's a stuffing, there's also the wrap that comes around it, and then you also get the receipt, and then it goes into a paper bag. And I just thought there was a lot of wastage around sneaker consumption that could be combined into a shoe. So it's kind of like erasing all of that uh, packaging and combining it into the shoe. So I looked at Tyvek as a fabrication, which is a machine washable, super durable paper. Um, and I looked at the, applying that to the actual shoe. For the colorway, I looked at receipts and an, specifically a Nike receipt, which is white and black. When you reach the end of a till roll, there's a pink line that comes up to tell you that you need to change the till roll. So when I looked at the different lace colors, I wanted to include that pink option to reference the receipts and the end of a till roll. Because I was looking at the whole shoe as kind of a reverse of a design and a reverse of packaging, I also put the size label on the outside of the tongue, uh, which is usually on the inside of the tongue, just as a reference to this reverse psychology of a product. I'm really excited about working with Nike on this product and this whole process and about what we can do in the future. Uh, obviously I'm a huge Nike fan so 
it's really exciting to think about the potential about working with a brand of that size and that creative impact. So with Vote Forward, you have about a week to vote for your favorite Air Max. Uh, you can vote up to three times a day and all of those votes will accumulate. And then I think on Air Max day at a certain time, uh, the winner will be released.